forget your ponytail holder. Braiding bands. I look like a man who only has eyebrows. Over here. Ah! Hi guys, it's Jill, and today I am filming a video, obviously. You dumb! So today I am going to be riding the Ghostinator and hopefully I will get some footage of that because yesterday she was freaking perfect so hopefully she'll be just as good today because yesterday I was able to walk trot and canter her with my arms out like this in a big circle and she was just moving off my leg and thinking through every step of the way which is so nice she's not panicking anymore and she's she's she trusts me now and it's so great that sounds so cheesy but like oh my god it's so great she's like okay I guess I can do this wait oh you're not gonna hurt me what's going on it's just nice that she came from such a rough start and just lots of aggression and now she's like trusting and being sweet and her grand grand manners her grand manners have improved tremendously I cannot tell you how much it bothers me to work with horses that just like bulldoze you around and like rub their faces on you and like just won't stand still and are just so rude and she's like I didn't I didn't have to do anything I'm just nice to her and she says okay I'll be happy to stand you to put a bit in my mouth at home so anyway I will get video of riding her today hopefully but first things first I am going to be doing a horsey makeover if you will thank you Therese Moser for coining the term I'm gonna be clipping her up for the show that we have this weekend yeah, so I'm just gonna be cleaning up ghosty so she looks all nice and feels all nice for the show and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this little video okay this is only the thousandth time that I've done this stupid intro and I want to shoot myself in the face thank you how sweet! Hi, <laughs> ghosty. You're sweeter than mine, aren't you? What's happening? Hi, baby girl! I love you! I feel like such a traitor when I do this. Oh my god. What's up, ghostinator? First things first. I need to go by story straight. Okay, so <laughs> ghostinator here has one of the thickest manes I've ever dealt with in my entire life. So, like up here, I pulled, and then I realized that her mane generally lays on this side. So it looks like I didn't do anything. Can you see it? Yeah, like I pulled up here. Why? So if you never pulled a mane before, all you do, take a portion, tease the hair, just like anything else, wrap the hair up, down and under and pull. It's very, very simple. But it takes a century. My freaking mare decided to go galloping around and screaming for her buddy, like that, and is making my job with Ghosty much more difficult, because Ghosty says, I want to be with my friend, and I say, you can't, I have work to do. Yes, you cannot. I need to clip your bridle path. Okay, but can we talk about how much better her like feet look? Why is this like this? Be darker. Like they're so shiny. Like obviously I couldn't clip a lot because she has like scratches. <laughs> but they're going away. Hooray! So 
should be gone by the end of this week, I think, at the rate they're going. And I'll be able to clip it to where they both look like that foot, which looks super nice. But right now, I'm working on her tail. And in the event that we sell her to 100 people, I don't want to clip this, so I'm just going to bang the end of it. But I have to brush that first. Forgot to mention that I had already sprayed oil in it so that I could brush it easy. Hang on. Doesn't she have the best tail ever? Since it's not my horse, I'm not gonna cut the style that I like, which Zoe's is obviously much shorter than this, but she's not mine. I feel like in the event that she becomes a hunter or a jumper, don't want her tail long. So, but I would really like to buzz the top of her tail because it looks so messy, so fuzzy. I'm gonna. You know, I might actually practice braiding it to see if that's something I like to do at the show, so. And just so that I'm totally clear in these videos, I'm not asking her to use herself or collect or round up at all. I'm just letting her get used to me being on her and understanding the fact that nobody's gonna pull on her and cause her pain and that riding isn't a bad thing and that it can be fun and relaxing and enjoyable. So yeah, I just want her to be super comfortable with me and someone on her, and then all the rest will come with time and patience. And good girl, hey, good girl. ghosty. I honestly can't believe this is the same horse. Like, I'm literally cantering with my hands on my head. Can't even do that on that goofball. It was eavesdropping on our ride. What a jerk. So I'm gonna untag ghosty and hose her off because it did get warm this week, so she's a little sweaty. And then I'm gonna grab Zoe and hose her off and groom her up just so that she looks nice and doesn't think I've forgotten about her. <laughs> Oh, so nice. Walk on. Oh, good girl. Hey, punk. So I gave up on my hair, but uh, currently I'm with the Zazu. She got very, very dirty, and so I hosed her off, and now she's standing in the sunlight drying, and I have a Dudley behind me, <laughs> and I'm preventing them from touching noses. Ouch. <laughs> Wow. So I didn't film an outro to this video, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm currently making up feed and I'm getting ready to feed the ponies. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give me a subscribe and a like and comment what you want to see next. Be sure and check out Jet Eventing on Instagram and Drill and Bow on Instagram. And I'm also Jet Eventing on Ask FM because I'm often bored and I answer lots of questions every day. So uh, hit me up. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much. Bye.